Hi and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is about these Monitor Audio Bronze B2 speakers. Not to get mixed up with the BR2 speakers by Monitor Audio the Bronze. Uh, as the seller did, because the seller actually had these, this is the BR2. I put my normal bid in, I don't really bid I. And uh, lucky enough, I picked these up for £35. I've noticed that uh, some of these uh, bronze speakers now seem to have dropped in price. Uh, another pair, the BR2s, I think, sold a little while afterwards. I did miss out on them uh, for £42. So um, not a great deal of money, but they can go higher. I mean, like, these are, a few of these are listed on eBay at the moment for £165, which is it's over the top, really. But um, like I say, local pickup this was. This was a local pickup, no postage. So uh, they're really the ones to go for. You know, look out for some local pickups near you. It may not be the model you want, but if you're going to get something that ch uh, cheap, you may think I'll take a little bit of a chance on that. The only trouble is when you come to resell them, if, uh, if it is a pair that you don't particularly like or something like that, you may have a little bit of trouble if you're not willing to post them on again to get a decent price back from That is the only trouble with pickup only. These are actually not made too far from where I actually live, about three miles down the road. These are made in Rayleigh in Essex here in the UK. So I'm going to go through a few things here. I've got it all written down. So first of all, these are a two-way bass reflex speaker. These are front ported, as you can see down here. Just going to mention that port very, very quickly. Mine's a little bit dirty because I've been doing a little bit of paint, etc. But these ports here, for some reason, the uh, the chamber inside, the plastic chamber, I don't know if it's kind of rubberized or something like that, but it's tacky. Um, if I keep doing that, poking my finger in there, my, fi my fingerprints stay in there, plus I end up getting a, a black finger. And it's quite sticky now actually so they're a bit tacky i don't know why may have gone over the few years that they've been out uh, maybe something to do with that but uh, they are a little bit on the tacky side okay they're 350 millimeters high by 250 millimeters in depth and 185 millimeters millimeters in width they weigh 13.5 kilos each now, i don't usually do this but they are quite well braced inside as you'll see when I show you inside, so um, I was quite you know, reasonably impressed really uh, with that. Um, you know, most of the speakers I get are just a cabinet, not much bracing, if any, inside at all. Uh, these are quite solidly made. Okay, so we're going to put them on the bench and do the normal thing, have a little look inside. So there they are on the bench, and I'm going to take the driver out. Now, the driver here is a six and a half inch MMP driver. Uh, I'm going to leave you a little uh, picture there what MMP stands for, but uh, that's the driver. And uh, if we have a look at the uh, tweeter this is a one inch gold dome c cam tweeter again uh, this is a ceramic coated aluminium magnesium tweeter that monitor audio uh, brought into their range uh, over the last well, good few years i think now and uh, been taken up by some other uh, speaker uh, manufacturers as well i think so uh, yeah let's have a little look at the uh, crossover uh, there's the crossover, a uh, little picture of the crossover on the back there. And we're going to look inside, if I can say, look inside. And these are quite well braced inside. They've got the bracing there inside and uh, quite well uh, padded as well inside. And uh, with this front off, I'm just going to show you the front here. Uh, this is kind of recessed, just come here. This is recessed here. This speaker's recessed, this base driver or main driver. And as you can see by that picture, uh, this front baffle is actually about 20 millimeters thick. So it's quite thick, the, the front baffle here. It's 20 millimeters thick with a recess of about six millimeters. So that goes in about six. So, um, you know, it's uh, quite a thick baffle compared to the other speakers they have, who are a bit more on a thinner size. So, you know, such a small speaker as well. For, uh, you know, it's, it's quite solidly made, this speaker. It, it, it is a solid speaker. Okay, so how did it sound? Just before I go on to the sound, I just want to mention one other thing as well. Uh, I've got the grills off here at the moment, and that's how I prefer listening to these speakers. They just seem to be just a little bit better just give the more open kind of sound and just a tad nicer sound for some reason. Just, um, it just sounded just a tad better, but more, more, more openness really, and a little bit more space in it with them grills off for some reason. Uh, don't ask me why, a couple of rooms I tried it in, it seemed to work that way. Obviously, if you get a pair or got a pair, you may not uh, agree with me, you may put the grills on and prefer it that way. But um, I do this with all my speakers, I have the grills on and off kind of thing as I listen to it and place them around the room. And uh, obviously, I don't know, well, it's a smart looking speaker as well. You like to see it, uh, you know, rather than being all covered up. But uh, I did notice it. Now, I've never really noticed it that much, uh, if at all, on some most of the other speakers I've had. But uh, on this particular pair, they were, the, the difference was there. It was kind of like noticeable, let's put it that way. So I just thought I'd mention that. Also, um, another thing I forgot to do is to show you these are bio wired as well as the, the uh, binding posts there at the back. I did buy wire these. 
But then I decided to, not that I heard any difference, I, again, I didn't hear any difference with these speakers and, and pretty much all the speakers, most of the speakers I uh, uh, connect up by, well, I, 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 for, you know, for the life of me, I, I struggle to hear any difference. But like I say, this may be to, uh, due to the uh, maybe uh, lower end amplifiers, should we say, I've got on receivers compared to more middle or higher end, you, you may hear the difference there. But I'm not going to say it sounded just a tad better, sound more detail and all that if it didn't, because I couldn't hear it. So, uh, and I did read in the forums that uh, these sounded a little bit brighter uh, to some people. And a couple of forums that I went on to uh, look at reviews, because I do check other people's reviews, see what they think about them as well. Just for a matter of interest really, and to see if I agree with them as well. Uh, my own personal, obviously, uh, assessment of them. And uh, they said they sounded a little bit brighter. And then people, the people that mentioned that, went back to having them normal wired rather than by wired. So I just thought I'd mention that before we get on to the uh, sound. So um, right, let's get on to the sound here. We're going to start off with the bass. Uh, the bass was quite punchy, it was quite tight. Uh, some good definition to the bass. Uh, the old drum skins were quite clearly heard there. You know, the stick it in the drumsticks, the bass and that. Uh, you know, they, they sounded quite nice, the bass. They had good definition. And again, with the uh, bass guitar, uh, it sounded nice, you know, we going for the uh, the strings and that, it sounded nice with the bass guitars and, uh, you know, you could hear the difference there, so, you know, it was quite, you know, it's just, it had the detail there and you could definitely hear the difference, you know, it's, it's not like some of these speakers, as people say, one note, you know, it's a million miles away from that, it's quite a nice sound, uh, you know, it's, um, if you've got an amplifier that, you know, some people say on the forums, I think, oh, these are a little bit bass, you know, these are not that bassy kind of thing. Um, they could do with a little bit more. But don't forget, these, these are not a massive speaker, but I thought these had plenty of bass, especially if you uh, match it up with an amplifier, uh, give a good grunt, give, give a good punchy bass kind of thing. These deliver, you know what I mean? These definitely deliver. I, I didn't have any problem at all with the bass at all. You know, when it was needed, it was there, when it, it was punchy. And it was loud, like you know what I mean. They, 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 it did give out a reasonable amount of bass. These was quite impressive for you know, as not a massive speaker, but I thought they gave out a fair amount of bass. Now onto the mids. These were not you know vocals were nice and smooth, male and female. Uh, they were very nice. The piano, the sax, and the trumpet. And these are a good resolution and timber kind of thing, structure and that. They sounded nice, uh, all of them. Now uh, uh, no quibbles at all from the mid range. These are quite a well balanced speaker to a certain extent is a quite a neutral sounding speaker just uh, a little bit of emphasis a little bit pronounced on the top end maybe uh, I'm just going to come to that now it's a bit pronounced I thought some, on some tracks especially these like disco compilation kind of tracks that's where it would stand out more for instance uh, but they can be like that they can be recorded like that anyway but uh, on a few tracks here and there they can sound a bit pronounced and for me it was just a matter of going up to my amplifier, just turning the shovel down, just two dB, just one little turn, and that will cure it. But it weren't on all the tracks, but lucky enough, the top end is nice and detailed here. Where you would get some other um, speakers where that treble may not be so detailed, so would that top end being pronounced would make it sound harsh and uh, get on your nerves kind of thing. You'd be like fatigued and you think, I can't listen to this too long. Lucky enough, that's not the case. You know, they're nice detailed top end here. So even when you've got the tracks being pronounced, it's, it's not really bugging you. It's pretty it's not bugging you like it would do uh, with another pair of speakers. But so uh, that's easy recommended, like I say, just turn it down a notch. And uh, just talking about that, I've tried this with different amplifiers and receivers. Obviously, I've got a, a few ones that sound on the warm side. And uh, that would that would cure, that would just, you know, turn that off. That would just uh, not that top end off a little bit. But I thought these, even though they sound nice, these speakers with warm amplifier, a warm sound amplifier. I thought these speakers sounded really nice and better with a neutral sound amplifier. It just gives it more airiness, more openness, and uh, overall just sounded nicer, I think, with a neutral kind of sound amplifier. I won't get an amplifier a little bit brighter, let's put it that way, uh, because I'm not saying it's going to bug you, but you will be, we'll be turning that trouble down a few more notches probably. So, uh, yeah, neutral sound amplifier, you're going to have great fun with these speakers. You know, they're, they're quite, like I say, you know, they've got good dynamics. Uh, right, if I finish with the top end, this if we look here, you're not seeing it's not quite bad as neutral sound. Yeah, okay, so if we go on to the sound stage here now, nice open sound stage for these speakers. It was really nice, it was clear. These are clear sounding speakers, plenty of space around the instruments, around the vocals, everyone there, plenty of space. Now the vocals come from, I mean, they can be pinpoint sharp, the vocals. They come from just a tad behind the speaker, the vocals. But this speaker has got some depth to it. 
and it's also like got some airiness it's got some three dimensions to it i mean when people start hitting these like these little uh, symbol kind of things and maracas and that they can come out into the room and that so it's not just you know it's not just from the speaker backwards it can come out and the vocals like i say are just uh, just a tad behind the speakers but they feel like the singer's in the room with you he's, you know he or she is in the room with you singing live it, it, it's, it's that good it sounds really nice it really does so these are quite you know for what they are they're quite impressive i was quite impressed by these speakers and they seem to work well say with all the different amplifiers and receivers or stuff on it uh but then again like i say just, uh, even with the warm ones they're nice but just to get a little bit nicer more that airiness and that i think definitely go for a neutral sounding amplifier Okay, what else we got here? Uh, the sound stage just went a little bit wider than the speakers, uh, and it done a good job here. And I think a bloke who, uh, on one of the reviews or somewhere I read, said that uh, this speaker, when, when the track needs to be narrow and sharp, and the, and the vocals are dead center, and everything's dead center, it does that job well. And when the track opens up, or another track, shall I say, opens up a wider track or an orchestra or something like that, it can quite even, you know, spread this out as well. It does a good job of both and pinpointing both and placing the instruments all nicely in their correct space and nicely detailed and focused. So yeah, for what they are, I mean, like I say, these probably come out for two, 220 pounds. No, you would have got quite a speaker, I think, you know what I mean? Quite a decent speaker. It would have, you know, for that kind of price range, it would have took a bit of beating. There would have been many more speakers about, I don't think, that would have uh, sounded better. So these are quite nice. I wouldn't go too, too mad buying them. I mean, uh, a mate who, who dropped off his little naddy at one of the bolts of car and done off his uh, speaker terminal things, I'm just going to fix that for him. And while it's here, I'm actually doing a review very quickly if I can with that, but I can always get it back. He did pop round when I was kind of listening to these. He said, Oh, they sound really nice, mate. You know, not that he knows a great deal about iPhone, I must admit, but uh, he said, They sound really nice. You know, when you finish, how much do you pay for them and all that kind of stuff? I said, oh, I couldn't remember now, it's 30, 35, it's 35 pounds. I said to him, well, yeah, I said, but I want to keep them. I said, if you want them off of me, I'm going to have to go and buy another pair kind of thing. So whatever it costs me to go and buy another pair, you can have them for that kind of Because, you know, they're nice sound. I want to hang on to them a little bit longer and uh, probably, you know, it could be quite a while because these are nice sound. I, I did like the sound of these. So, um, and like I say, um, for the money I paid, I was pretty lucky maybe, but uh, shop around, pick up. I think you're going to find a pair. You may want to take a chance maybe with a bronze BR2 or something like that. Because if anything like this, then you know, they're going to sound a pretty decent sounding speaker. So yeah, back onto the, the it had the three dimensional, it had the airiness to it. Um, yeah, you know, the space, it had plenty of space around it and all that. Quite a nice sounding speaker, you know what I mean? For what you're paying, don't go mad and pay on the £65 because I'm probably going to probably get another second hand pair of speakers that uh, are going to sound better, you know, something may have cost £500 or £600 back then. 500 quid, 150 quid, so say on the 60 quid or something like you may be able to get a pair of them, so they're probably going to sound better than these. But if you can pick up a pair for hundred pound sub, a bit lower than that or something like that, I think you're going to get yourself, you know, a reasonable sounding speaker that you're going to be uh, quite pleased with. Uh, that's for certain. Um, just one other thing, I'm not too sure to mention it. I might have mentioned it already, but this this uh, port here can get a bit tacky. Get a bit tacky. I don't know why. If I put my finger on there, it leaves me fingerprints on there. There you go. Okay. Uh, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.